Let's set up our nav bar in our design system. So come over here to the gear, and in this third option, we've got our nav bar, and you can just click on show your nav bar. Now, if you just set up your project, you're probably gonna see this warning right here, which is just saying that we only have one page, so you need more than one page to be able to show the navigation. So just come over here to your project and add another page. I'm just gonna create a blank one called profile and navigate back to our nav bar. And it's still on there. But there's something helpful here as to why we're still getting this error. And that's because you can set whether you want a page to be added to your nav bar. And depending on which nav bar style you have, you're actually gonna have a max number of pages that you can show. So let me show you how to do this. So you wanna go back to the builder and you can either click out on your canvas or click the root scaffold widget right here. So you can come over here and click on show nav bar. You can also do that in this little bottom icon down here. That's the same button. So we need two pages. So let's go over to our profile page and click this on as well. Great, so let's jump back into our nav bar settings and you can see when we're in here, toggling on showing our nav bar and adding it to multiple pages opens up these other options down here, this layout and styling section. Now in this nav bar style, you're given three options for types of nav bars. The flutter nav bar is the simplest of styling and that's what we have selected right here. Then we've got a Google nav bar, which has this animation effect when you click on the different pages as well as a bunch of additional styling options. And then finally, you've got a floating nav bar where you can see we've got this shadow behind it and it's pushed off from our edges. That's controlled by our nav button margin right down here. And it's floating over the page. So depending on which one you select, you're gonna have different styling options available down here. But this isn't the only place where you have styling options. There are two places. One is here and the other is in any page. Once again, when you either click on the canvas or that root widget and you see the nav bar item properly over here, there's gonna be some additional options here. So we're on this profile page, and so let's change the label to profile, and let's change the icon to a profile icon. Great. Also, if you want more fine grain control out of the type options, you can select that down here, but we're just gonna leave that off for now and go look at a few other things. Now, this preview window is helpful because it's rendering all of your navigation settings. So you can click through here and see the selected and unselected state, the animations if you are on the Google nav bar and any other styling options you've set. And if you wanna reorder these nav items, you can come over here and just drag them. Okay. So that's styling your nav bar and your design system. But there's two additional things to know about the nav bar. The first is that you have the option to show a nav bar on a page, but not add that page itself to the navigation. And this is helpful because sometimes on mobile apps, because you don't have a whole lot of screen real estate, you just wanna have the top level pages on your nav and leave off less important pages or let's say sub pages. And you do that by coming back into the builder and this option down here, always show nav bar on page. So the idea is that you wanna show the nav bar, but you don't want this current page, the profile page on the nav bar. But before we do this, we need to add another page because we still need three pages. So let's add in another page and let's just call it feed. And we'll show on the nav bar and let's choose a feed icon. That's fine. And let's change the label to feed. Okay. So maybe on our feed page, I don't wanna actually add the feed to the navigation. Then I just click this off and click on the always show nav bar on page button. Then we've got this. We're on the feed page, we're showing the nav bar, but we don't see the current page. The last option you wanna set up is responsive visibility right here. And this controls whether your nav bar is visible on which devices. So you probably don't wanna show this nav bar on desktop if you're shipping to desktop, so you can just click it off. And that's setting up your nav bar in your design system.